tell me more about this as you listen to more and more senior scientists what is it about do you think the the younger enthusiast groups who are watching this and wondering if they also want to be part of such missions no uh, it's a prime example of team efforts whereas uh, sunita went through boeing spacecraft but ended up ended up coming back from spacex so it's a teamwork collaboration it's a communication uh, uh, like it's a teamwork communication leadership skills that has been shown by the space agencies and it's a prime example of and these kinds of incidents actually helps the humanity to do science better and the, as humanity is planning to go to mars in the next 5 years this is a prime example of if something goes wrong then what is the risk emissions how to push boundaries and this will inspire a lot of engineers young kids will really opt to become astronaut scientists and contribute to the new era of space exploration so this is this mission is more like solving a real world problems and starliner spacecraft technical issues so how crucial engineering and scientists people are in the field of uh, space science and uh, this mission also highlights different careers in astronomy aerospace robotics engineering and encouraging which is encouraging young minds to go into stem fields so yeah and are in even the kind of missions that you have started these initiatives are very important to cater to many who may not directly be involved with the big space organizations but definitely are able to be a part of the larger missions i want to bring in timil here timil what happens now because everyone's curious about the physical challenges of these astronauts the kind of no gravity to gravity uh, issues that they are likely facing i hear there are there are kind of challenges to the bone to the blood circulation all of that will have to be taken into consideration yes yes indeed um they will be evaluated by doctors reviewed and keep in mind their their medical expertise and background and training for all of this will be um assessed so they know what to expect to take this time to readjust the body needs to understand that there's gravity around again um they'll be checked out their their hearts their lungs everything will be assessed to make sure that they are in tip top shape um as they readjust and get back to to normal the normal way of life here on earth that we are are used to so uh they're being reviewed scanned all the tests will be taken throughout and 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 they are also part of research themselves are 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 under research and medical research to see how their bodies are 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 functioning when they're up and down um this is the thing that astronauts go through they're always being checked they're always being assessed as they perform those delicate experiment experiments um in outer space so do you hear of any possible media briefing or a video message that could be coming on from coming out from these astronauts or perhaps first there will be a protocol that will be followed and then there can, can be a media briefing to come in Could you repeat one yes. more time? Yes, yes, Rimal, the question is are you expecting any kind of video message or briefing to come in from the astronauts I wonder or perhaps that would take some time. I I I think that will take some time. Mm. They're probably like they if it will take uh, at least a couple of days for them to do so. I would be happy if they can. Um they seem very strong and and healthy when you when you saw them um as come out of the capsule they were like you know very vibrant shaking their hands and you know you're you're observing and testing and checking their de- dexterity to make sure that it can move and everything is 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 like you know functioning properly so they seem to be uh steps ahead of the game but it's very important to take precaution and take their time there's no need to rush um we we we've seen enough that they're healthy and they're doing well so let's give them the time they need to fully recover and then we'll have them to ourselves in the next not not just days weeks months and um enjoying their company before they try to hitch another mission to space 
<laughs> I think that's going to be a while till that happens. But what a lovely adventure that they've been part of. Trimal, stay on with me. Uh, Sibu, I take this question to you. What are the lessons that the Indian Space Research Organization can take? Because ISRO has made and has contributed a lot in the past four to five years, whether it's Chandrayaan, Mangalyaan. We're also aiming for the Gaganyaan mission similar to this crude flight. What are we looking at to learn? And before you, you answer, these are the visuals coming in from Gujarat. This is the Mehsana district, which is the ancestral village for Sunita Williams. So clearly, for Indians as well, who of course possibly never met her, but there's this connect that they feel. And in the ancestral well, where the family members are still residing, there is full-on Diwali, Holi mix that's happening. Sibu, go ahead. Oh, definitely, the entire India has been uh, waiting with bated breath for return, and they've been celebrating since last night itself. Uh, as far as ISRO is concerned and the learnings that are to be taken into consideration, the first thing is that this Dragon spacecraft has been working flawlessly. Uh, we need to see that uh, the next flight of the Dragon spacecraft will take an Indian astronaut to the International Space Station. This time, an ISRO astronaut, to be very precise, uh, Indian Air Force uh, Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla has been selected to go to pilot basically this Dragon spacecraft as part of Axiom 4 private mission. So ISRO will be very closely, very minutely looking at the performance of the Dragon spacecraft because they have to send them one of their own on this entire mission. Uh, Shwanti Shukla is also a Gaganyaan astronaut candidate. Uh, he was revealed by Prime Minister Modi uh, as one of the prime candidates for Gaganyaan mission, which is supposed to launch next year. So India will be closely looking at that. Apart from that, uh, as the ISRO chief, uh, the former ISRO chief S. Somnath also uh, clearly said, uh, crisis management is going to be the biggest learning from this entire mission. Uh, what happens if uh, an uncertainty hits you uh, in space travel. What happens when one of your systems, subsystems fails to deliver? How do you basically come back on your feet, uh, create, uh, create, do your assessment, and then create your new plans to basically execute them uh, flawlessly as NASA and SpaceX did it together? Secondly, uh, India will surely be looking at the private uh, uh, space companies uh, developing private space enterprise in India. And in the last uh, in the last decade, especially uh, India has been pushing for the private sector to take the reins of the uh, of the Indian space exploration, and we have seen this uh, with the first private launch of a uh, of a rocket by the Skyroot Aerospace in India. Uh, going forward, we'll be looking at more such collaborations, more such uh, incentives from the government to the private sector. Uh, apart from this, India is also a signatory of the Artemis mission. Artemis mission is basically a long duration travel. Uh, NASA wants to develop colony and uh, basically research centers on the moon. It then wants to use Moon as a launching platform to go to Mars. And with Elon Musk at the helm, we see that happening in the next decade. It, it's likely possible. Uh, India is a signatory of the Artemis mission. Uh, Prime Minister Modi, uh, when he visited US during the term of Joe Biden, he signed that agreement. Uh, ISRO and NASA signed that agreement together. So India is, is, is a partner in the Artemis mission. Uh, uh, all the research that would be coming down from the uh, long duration space travel and the health effects that take the tone that take on its body, all the research that clearly there are there are some challenges.